Okay, let's lower the motors down on our new boat, and we are officially crossing the ocean. We're heading on over to a new island, guys. We're leaving town with the HGB 53, and we're going to start a new dealership, a truck dealership, on an island. And the only way to get to that island is by boat. So we're going to head on over there. We're currently gaining speed. We're doing, oh my gosh, we're doing 60 miles per hour. That's actually crazy. And we've got a five hour commute across the ocean. So when we get close, guys, we'll check back in with you because we've got quite the journey. All right, boys, we've arrived at the island, but we're currently in quite the situation. We've radioed into the Harbor Master and they've not given us docking assignments. So we're not sure where to dock. There is this freighter here, but they don't have much room for boats. So we need to find a good spot, maybe around the corner here. We could beach this thing up just to temporarily dock it. And uh, once this freighter moves, I think, well, honestly, right there will be all right. All right, let's back it in. We'll thrust it over here. There we go. Okay, even better. They just slid this metal thing out and it's floating. It's on like the bottom. It's got a bunch of air docks underneath to hold this thing up. So they put a temporary dock in. So the boat's all good. And we're officially ready to head onto the island. We should have a truck waiting over here for us. There it is. The light blue Ford Raptor, boys. Check this thing out. And this is an official island color, if I don't say so. This is going to be our work truck, technically, to get the dealership up and running. So check out the interior. Super clean. Big stereo system. Not sure why the hazards were on, but they had this thing dropped off from the freighter. It came all the way from the United States. And we're supposed to customize and bring more trucks in over today. So make sure you do stick around. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. But what we're going to do first is we got to find a spot to build out this dealership. The island, I will say, it's getting well known over time. It used to be very high poverty rates and there wasn't much money on the island. But now there's a bunch of billionaires and millionaires coming to this island for relaxation. So we're going to go ahead and open a truck dealership. So that way they don't have to ship all their cars over. They can buy from us. So eventually there's going to be about, you know, 50 to 100 mansions on this island. Ooh, look at that bridge. That's pretty sweet. Super cool area. A lot of this has got to get cleaned up too. So we might even bring in a mower and do some public works and uh, get paid for that. But we're going to head into the city, they call it. It's not quite a city yet. No skyscrapers or anything, but it's the best they've got. So we're going to head over there and uh, see if we can find a spot to build the new dealership. I think this is the spot, guys. This should be uh, pretty cool. There's some spots for land. All right. There's actually a spot right there. So this is pretty cool. Lots of uh, houses over here, but they're kind of boarded up, which is kind of confusing. But as you can see, there's people walking around. Oh, watch out. Almost just hit Mark Zuckerberg there. No, just kidding. But they got a farm over here. That's pretty cool. We don't want to interrupt that. Maybe we don't want to build near a farm because the vehicles might disrupt it. There's a lot of trees around here, so we might have to clear some stuff out. But there was one spot in particular that I did see that was kind of cool on the other side. So, yeah, that's the whole city for you. Just a bunch of houses. There's a little market. And right over here, I think we're going to build something over here. And the reason is it connects back to a spot of land where there's not much trees. So we wouldn't have to come in with, you know, logging equipment and clear it out. So sort of like right here. So if we ever wanted to expand the dealership, we have all this property. The property line goes to that tree and that tree. So it's a lot of space, about an acreage of land. So that's pretty clean. The only amount of trees we'd have to take out is about these 10 in front of us. Once we knock these out, we're pretty much good to build a road and then the dealership. So that could be pretty cool. We've got one more spot to check out on the island. It's not a part of the city, but it is a little bit outside. So I'll see you guys when we pull in. I should have showed you this first because this is right where we were at. But we came on back down to the shipyard. It's a waterfront view. Right here, guys, this is the sawmill. So like I said, they're cutting trees down. They're getting to work, building houses, clearing land. And we have a spot right back here. That's a potential spot right in this spot. We can do a circle turn and yeah, that's where we can build the dealership. The only thing about it is the cost of it's pretty expensive because it technically is waterfront. It's right where the port is. See, there's a ship out there and there's going to be a marina being built probably right over there. So it's going to be pretty expensive. Uh, either A, that's good because the property value go up. And whenever we pull in, we got the boat right here. So there's a lot of pros and cons of both properties. And there is a little bit of a city over here. As you can see, there's actually people on the island over here too. These are a little bit nicer of homes too. So that could be cool because I think they'll probably build the mansions to the left behind these homes. Or they'll honestly just knock these houses down and build mansions. It's kind of crazy. Here's the market. They've got all kinds of food here. What is that? Cabbage. You got tomatoes. You got bread. They import everything just about besides coconuts. You got endless amounts of coconuts on this island. So... That's the, the two properties that we've got, and that's it. There's not much more because the rest of it is owned from uh, just like the state or whoever, whatever country owns this island. I'm not sure. It's connected to the Caribbean island somehow, uh, but yeah, we, uh, we got to pick one. I think it would be smarter to go with the waterfront property. We've got these weird silos in front of us, but we could definitely block that off, get these, you know, these trees cleared out. Oh, there's deer running around. 
And uh, yeah, we'll clear these trees out right here, open it up a little bit, build out the dealership, and we're water waterfront too. So also when we import trucks, it'll save us money, time, everything. All right, I'm going to call the realtor and we're going to close on this property. Okay, we're closed. $750,000 for some dirt, boys. That's right. That was an expensive purchase. But like I said, there's going to be billionaires on this island. We need to get going now. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to clear out about 10 of these trees and I'll meet you guys in construction mode. when We're ready to build this dealership. Okay, boys, we're in construction mode. So we got all these trees cleared out and we're ready to get building on the actual property. So first things first is we need to go ahead and get rid of all this bushes and shrubs and everything around here. We left some trees up because you don't want it to just be completely open. So we left that up. We're going to go ahead back down with just the normal grass texture. That's going to clean it up a little bit better. There we go. And we're going to separate that road over there in the back. So there we go. So now we're starting with kind of a clean slate here. And now the next thing that we're going to do is obviously place down the dealership because we need a good base layer. And we're going to be placing it on quite the angle here. It's kind of different than what you'd normally see with a dealership. So let's find this placeable. Here we go. Ultra luxury dealership. Let's go ahead and place this thing down. All right. Looks good. And now we can build in the road. So this is kind of cool because what it's going to do is going to separate. It's going to go to two different driveways in a sense. So the left driveway will lead you to the showroom, but the back driveway will also lead you to the showroom, but this will be the rear entrance or the service entrance. As you can see, there is a door right here. You can't really tell that well, but there's a cutout. So there's a door for all vehicles that'll be going in the showroom. And then there's a road back here that connects to it. So this road, wherever it may go to some trails, let's try and follow it here. It leads to the river. Okay. So this is pretty cool too. If we want to do import export out of that river, we can. So that could be pretty cool. The first thing that we're going to do is, is put down some nice cement. So let's connect it with the road. We're not going to be doing the normal. Well, honestly, this does look cool. Okay, well, obviously we're on an island, so we should probably just stick to that. Keep it simple. We're going to do island roads, boys, because why not? The trucks are going to get dirty regardless. So, all right, that connects it good. Now we're just going to do some sculpting here, smoothing out the land. Let's go ahead and flatten this part out here. That way the whole thing's level and it doesn't fall and, you know, co cove in, I guess they call it. Alrighty, next part up is to the back entrance. So go around here. It looks good. And connect it to the rear entrance. So, all right, that looks good. So our roads are basically done. I want to add a couple things. We got to move the truck though. It's in the way of construction zone. So let's back it out over here for now. And the next thing up, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go with this cement texture. This is pretty cool. And I do this edge thing. So... This kind of separates the grass, kind of makes it look nice, the edging on the landscaping and everything. So, all right, let's go along the driveway. Once I'm complete with this, we'll move on to the decorations. There you go. As you can see, it looks a lot better now. Next thing up we're going to do is we're going to add in quite a bit of a gate. I don't like forest. Uh, I'm not a big fan of them. We could just do for a gate, though, trees, though. We've got these trees placeables. We could just put like a bunch of these down, just spam them on the ground. There we go. That kind of separates the dealership a little bit from this forest. I just, I don't know. There's something about forest. Like a bear is going to come out and just like eat the truck. Uh, Probably not going to happen, but it's definitely possible. So we're going to separate everything. Kind of just leave it on our own plottage of land here. There we go. We got some more bushes, though. We got to clean up over here. And that'll be kind of the last part for landscaping there. And there we go. Let's complete this road right there. We're going to connect it in case we do do import export. All right. Looks good right there. Perfect. Okay, guys, it's coming together pretty good. Next thing up we got to do is the lighting. So we got to have in some nice lights, shop lights, you know, when it's dark out. I got these cool lights here, so we're going to place those down. It's got a two-part system, so the light on the bottom will shine the ground and the light on top, so that's pretty cool. And let's move on to the decorations here. Okay, we added some stuff down. We didn't go too crazy overboard because we might buy some stuff in the future. So we put a plant down, obviously very simple, and then we did a grill. So if we ever want to grill at the dealership on Fridays or something, we can do that. And the last thing we did was a little workbench back there for service work. So that is the complete dealership. Oh, hold on one more thing. We got some dolphins in the front. Check it out. Of course, if we're on an island, we need some dolphin statues. So that is complete for the dealership. Phase one it is. And yeah, we're going to clear out, honestly, with some more trees. It is kind of close to the forest there. We're probably going to clear it out and then uh, open up some land for extra storage lot for trailers, whatever else. And uh, yeah, that's the completed build, I guess, on the dealership. We got to customize two trucks. Got to get the first two trucks of inventory here. So let's head on over to the shop. All right, we're going to go with an F-450 here. I feel like a billionaire is going to want a truck because they might need to haul horses or anything they have on the island. Most people do have farms on islands and a lot of other cool stuff. And they need a truck to get around because it's all dirt roads. So let's go ahead and pick a cool color on this thing. Let's see. It's either got to be blue, red. There is an orange color. I'm not a giant fan of it. We've got red here. Red looks pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and buy this. And then you can customize the light color in the front. 
We could do red headlights. That could be pretty cool too. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might've found something a little bit cooler. This is, uh, they call it olive age green. This is, uh, this is cool. All right, we're gonna go with that. Chrome rims. Okay, I like this. This is definitely cool. This is something someone would buy. I don't think they want a red truck. They want something a little bit undercover. So this is gonna be that. 85,000, we just bought it. And of course, we got to get a Ram TRX. These things are so high power. We're going to go with a yellow on this one because the yellow looks kind of cool. There we go. That's like a goldish yellow. Let's see if we can find anything better. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. This is more of like a New Holland yellow. Uh, let's see. The first one looks better. There we go. We're going to put the 6.2 liter V8, 700 horsepower. 702 to be exact. Very cool. Here it is, boys. The Ram TRX. Gosh dang, good American. Let's get these trucks on back to the dealership, guys. If you want to see us come back for a part two on this series, let's hit 1,000 likes on today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.